Hey guys, I'm here to talk to you about some community service that we're all going to be doing together. Um, I noticed on our last self-confidence unit that a lot of you were really lacking in community service. So I have found something that you can either A, do from home or B, do in school and C, and the good part is you can continue to do this throughout the year. Um, if you want to build up community service hours. So this is a really easy thing. There's a company online called Duroc Card Making, and they collect cards, handmade cards for elderly people, uh, elderly people that are in the hospital or nursing home and probably don't have family around to write them. So um, these are actual hours that you can log in as community service. We're going to get it um, six to eight hours together. And then, like I said, if you have an interest in continuing to do this so that you can actually rack up some really good hours, you know, 40 hours or so um, before you start applying to colleges, let me know and I can help you out with that. All right. So if you're an in-class person for most of the remaining Monday and Wednesdays, we're going to do this in class. If you're at home, you're going to do this at home. It's going to be your at home assignments. The supplies needed are cardstock, and that is like thick paper. I have white cardstock, and I do have some colored cardstock. Either one is fine. Um, they want this because that way um, cards won't get damaged in the mail. You also need some white paper, just like copy paper, some markers, map colors, um, crayons, it doesn't matter, glue of any kind. And if you're a virtual student, I will have these supplies for you and I will leave them in the front office. You'll just have to pick them up. Sometime it says between 7.30 and 4 p.m. You can pick them up, a parent can pick them up. I'll have them like in a baggie for you so that you can actually have those. If you have stuff like this at home, then don't worry about it. All right, so each card that you make according to these guidelines is gonna be worth 10 points. So I'm hoping that you'll make me a total of 10 cards so that you'll have 100 and this is gonna be your final exam grade. Now, just because you make the cards doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna get 100. Please remember these are actually going out to people. So don't turn in cards that you wouldn't want your own grandparent to get. Please don't turn in a big, just giant mess or something that was obviously done in a minute. Take some time and do this. This is community service and they are going to be sent out for uh, people. So these are important directions that actually came from the card company. The theme of our cards are going to be thinking of you cards. So what you're going to do is you're going to take, and I did this in 30 seconds, so yours should be way better than mine, but you're going to take your piece of card stock, whether it be color or black um, or white, and you're going to go ahead and fold it. And this is going to be actually the front of your card. So I did a thinking of you. You can do whatever you want. Just Google. Look, this is where I found mine. Google thinking of you here. Here's the one that I semi copied. Not really good. And it's not colored, but I've just shown you what to do. There's gajillions on here. Copy one. Come up with your own. It doesn't matter. So have your front decorated and colored. Have a thinking of you on the front. Then on the inside, what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of just white paper, regular old paper. This is the hard paper. This is the white paper. Go ahead and fold it so you'll know you did it correctly. And you're going to write a little message inside. doesn't have to be anything long. It could be a quote. And then you're going to sign just your first name. I did Mary. Obviously, I should have signed Senora Wilson, but I didn't. Okay, you can find quotes everywhere. I typed in um, thinking of you quotes. Some of them are not something I'd send a stranger, but anyway, you can find some stuff there. I typed in have a great day quotes. You can do stuff there. Um, so you're going to write just a brief little message and then your name, and then you're going to leave um, some blank space down here or over here on this other side because the card company actually, um, they will write some things in there too, to share with this person. So um, let's see what else is on there. I can't even think what I'm trying to say. Here we go. Um, if you're a virtual student, I want all your cards turned in together at once and please go ahead. Um, you're going to glue this piece of white paper in here. If for some reason you can't, I could do it, but have it inside the card for me. Um, these need to be turned into the front office on or before Wednesday, May 19th. So if you get them all done, that's great. If you want to make some extras, that's even better. It says I'll add extra points to test quizzes, learning logs, um, if you need that. Or if you just want extra community service hours, that's fine. Um, you should take your time on this. For 10 cards, I'm thinking that probably we'll get um, around six hours a piece. And if you do more than that, then you let me know. If this is something you want to continue with, um, you can actually go to, let me see if I can find it. Yes. Um, 
right here. Here it is. Um, www.doratusa and there's like a little I'm a volunteer and you can click on that but I can hook you up with that so that's not a big deal. Um, the only thing that they ask is you can put stickers on there if you want to decorate with construction paper that's great but they ask for you not to use glitter or things that would fall off in the mail so if you have something that you can securely glue on there to make it look colorful and pretty that would be awesome. Please remember you don't want something that you wouldn't want your own grandparent to get. So hopefully um, those are some good instructions. I'll leave these on here. And I hope you guys, A, get some good community service, but B, actually feel good about reaching out and doing something for somebody. All right, holler at you later. If you have questions, uh, shoot me an email. You can pick this up in the office if you're virtual. If you have questions about that, let me know too. All right, bye guys.